where it's kind of big on you. Maybe you have like a size 10 foot and the shoe's like at a size M, maybe like 11. <laughs> Good YouTube, it's your boy Bless That Was Awesome. I'm here to bless y'all with another video. Today we're gonna be doing the art of untie shoes, man. A lot of y'all are gonna be wanting to untie your shoe. I know me personally, I'm dumb lazy. I don't tie my shoes, man. It's like what uh, extra two minutes to get your shoes tied. It's, it's too much work. Uh, so we're gonna get into the different arts, the different techniques that you can use while keeping your shoe untied. So. Let's get into it, man. The first technique is gonna be not tying the shoe at all, uh, just leaving the laces out. Um, strictly just, just tucking it in your shoe. Um, there's a lot of different techniques to kind of do this. Uh, basically, you can just, like me personally, I like to just tuck it underneath uh, my foot. So it's all, when I put the, my foot in there, it goes right underneath. Uh, the, sh the shoelace goes right underneath my foot and it basically it stays secure um, You can tighten and loosen it to a, uh, a point that you like um, Just to adjust it any way you want to do it and it's, it's real simple. It's real easy But that's uh, one technique of time of keeping your shoe on top man. Here's another technique and this is for the people that have like um, When you have a shoe where it's kind of big on you Maybe you have like a size 10 foot and the shoes like at a size M, maybe like 11, maybe like 11 and a half, somewhere around that. It's just too big for your foot. Uh, so the, the next technique is gonna be the knotting technique. And uh, it keeps your shoe loose, very loose, but it also makes sure that the shoe is not gonna come off your foot because when you have like a big shoe, it's gonna flop. So you don't want that. Um, so uh, what I recommend is just tie the tips, tie the very end of the tips and they'll stay secure a lot better uh, with the shoe uh, non-tie technique. You're still gonna have to kind of keep track of your shoes. Like they're still gonna be loose, uh, but they're not gonna be as loose as it would be with the, the non-tuck technique. Um, still, if you want the best bet, just make sure you get a shoe that actually fits you. But if you can't, and you, that is not an option for you, this, this technique is, is the best one for you. So that's gonna be technique number two, man. Another technique, a great technique, and you see a lot of people doing this here and there, and this is just a basic, loosen up the laces and just let it hang, man. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, people call it the Kanye look. I don't call it the Kanye look. But um, basically you just loosen up your shoestrings and then make it very short at the end uh, so that you can get some breathing room and the laces will be short enough that they won't even tie. Um, I like to do this with mostly majority of my shoes. For my Jordans, I usually use my uh, tuck-in method or the the loose lacing method. Uh, it's basically whatever shoe you're working with, you, you can kind of gauge what type of shoe you're, uh, it's gonna work for you. Um, but this, this is my favorite method here. Uh, so basically you just loosen up the laces and uh, the shoestrings don't even reach. And it's extra dope. Um, it's a cool looking uh, design. I really like it on my Jordan 11s because uh, the way the Jordan 11 sits, um, the shoelacing really isn't that long anyway. So I basically just make them really loose and then uh, just rock it, rock it like that. So uh, this is gonna wrap it up for today. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, sub for more content like this. And if you got any like discussion topics or some ideas for some videos, uh, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll, I'll try to get back to you with a video of some sort. Um, and I'll also try to shout you out, letting you know like, hey, you helped me out here and I'm doing this video because uh, you commented down below. Also sub for more content like this. And it's been your boy, Blessed Applesauce. Stay blessed and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, man.